Pilates. I'm Carrie Sadler, owner and instructor here, and this is Cassie, one of our instructors. And we are here with this month's Moves of the Month. Moves of the Month. Uh, we're going to do some magic circle, a uh, little mini magic circle workout for you at home. So the magic circle is a great tool, and it's very portable, easy to use. Uh, the story goes that Joseph Pilates created this first magic circle from the top of a beer keg, the ring. Um, today's versions are a little bit nicer. We have these nice little pads on them. Um, so let's get started. We're going to have Cassie lay all the way back. She's going to hold the magic circle. She's going to press the butt of the palm into the pad of the circle and just kind of connect the shoulders. And we're just going to have her start off and take two big breaths on there. And so that nice big Pilates breath, big inhale, exhale, really engaging the abdominals and just kind of feeling that the arms are gently squeezing or falling into that circle and you'll feel that little work through the backs of the arms and those triceps. Good, and now she's going to actively squeeze. So every time when she exhales, she's going to squeeze gently into that circle. And then when she inhales, she's going to release and just take that big breath in. So this is great work for those backs of the arms, keeping those shoulders nice and open. And we're going to have her do two more there. Every time she inhales, she releases, and then exhale, she's squeezing in. And just that squeeze in. Now she's going to take the arms overhead, so when she inhales, she's going to reach the arms overhead, but keep the shoulders nice and connected. And then as she exhales, she's going to bring the circle back. And she can even reach it a little bit towards the hips to get a little bigger range of motion on there. And then again, so she's inhaling and just keeping a gentle squeeze in really connecting the shoulders, helping that magic circle kind of helps us really engage the core. So that big inhale overhead, working level with those arms, and then exhale as she comes back. And we're going to do one more on there. Inhale as she reaches back, belly really wraps in, and then she's exhaling to come back. Now she's going to hold the circle right above the chest and just gently hold in. We're going to do some knee sways on here. She's going to hug those legs together. She's going to try to keep that circle, kind of looking through it and not moving it. As she inhales, she's going to reach the legs over to one side. And then exhale, using her abdominals, sequence her spine back to the mat. Inhale, reaching over, getting a nice little twist through that low back. And then as she exhales, sequencing that spine to come back. That nice deep breath. And really a lot of work to kind of keep that circle right over the chest and not let it move. So we're anchoring the shoulders and that and then coming back to that center. And let's have her do one more there, inhaling as she reaches over, and then exhale to come back. Now I'm gonna have her go one at a time and bring those legs to tabletop so she can just draw one in, keep the belly really wrapped in, draw the other leg in. We're gonna do some knee folds from here, one leg at a time. Inhale, she's gonna lower to her working level, and then exhale to draw back in. Using that magic circle just to kind of hug into and connect into those core muscles. When you're doing these, only take that leg as low as you can go and not change your spine, not change the low back. Feel like those abdominals are pulling in and not letting them press back out. Good. All right, from there, we're going to have Cassie take the magic circle and put it between the legs and kind of right above her ankle bones. She's going to lay and have that nice like tabletop position with those legs here with her breath. She's going to take a big inhale and then every time as she exhales, she's going to gently squeeze into the circle. So inhale, she gets to release and then that exhale squeezing in. This is great inner thigh work, great abdominal work because it's a lot of work just to hold those legs at tabletop. We're going to have her do two more there, squeezing in, zipping the abdominals up and in, and one more time. Good. And now she's going to just gently squeeze the circle the whole time. She's going to inhale to straighten the legs, keeping her tailbone nice and heavy, and then exhale to bend back in. We're going to do five of those. Inhaling, nice lengthening and stretching through the backs of the legs. Lots of good inner thigh work, that reach and then coming back and two more there lengthening and feeling the belly button really sink in as those legs stretch one more time good and then she's going to hold there we're going to go right into our hundreds so gently squeezing in taking a big inhale you can exhale curl up into that upper arm curl start pumping the arms inhaling for five exhaling now you can leave the legs bent or you could straighten them up or if you wanted to lower them a little that's going to make it more challenging 
working, just make sure that you're always at that working level. You're not compromising, changing the spine, or losing that abdominal work wherever you are. Now we're going to mix it up for the last half of her 100. She's going to hold the arm still. She's going to squeeze the circle. Inhale for five, and then exhale for five. Good. Inhaling two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. We'll have her do two more breaths on there. So we're always shooting for that full hundred. If your neck bothers you at any point on these, you can always lay the head down. Do these and give the neck a little rest. Good. And then she's going to bend the legs and grab her magic circle. And we're going to end with just a nice little roll up with bent legs. She's going to flex the feet, glue those in her thighs together, and anchor the heels. Just gently hug that circle as you inhale, curl halfway up, exhale, round your spine up and over like your nose is going to touch your knees, and then roll back, inhaling, and then that exhale to roll back down. We're going to do five of those, that nice rolling through the spine, a little connect into that magic circle, and just using it to help you pull those shoulder blades down and rolling through the spine, anchoring those heels. If you're at home and those heels want to lift up, you can throw a little light weight over the top of them or hook them underneath the couch. Sometimes that helps. And we'll do two more there. Inhaling for half. Exhale that stretch of the spine up and over. Good. And that rolling back down through the spine. Good. And our last one here. Inhale to start off. Exhale as you curl the spine forward. And then just finish by rolling all the way back down. Good. So that is our little mini magic circle workout for home. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you like this video, share it on your Facebook page, and we look forward to seeing you again at River City Pilates. Thank you.